Club at 22, the Rangers podcast is supported by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Go to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free shipping with code CLUB at 22. Your balls will thank you. Hello everyone, uh, and it's just me on my own today as I bring you club reaction as Rangers have a bit of a shocker in Dingwall to drop two points with an accumulation of terrible defensive errors. Uh, not the result we were looking for ahead of the, the game on Wednesday night, that is for sure. Uh, and let's just say, let's hope we get a, a bit of a, a reaction um, to that on Wednesday night because, yeah, today it was just... An accumulation of errors has led um, Ross County to get away from that game with a with a point. Uh, so yes, unfortunately, it is just me on my my own today. So you just have to listen to me uh, as I or try and bring you some reaction to uh, to what we've just watched. So the team today was McGregor, Tavernier, Goldson, Bassey, Barisic, Kamara. Arfield, Aribo, Kent, Diallo and Itton. A number of big names have been brought back, as you would expect, uh, in the team. Uh, and obviously the big news in the starting 11 was the, the new loanee, Diallo, making his debut. And it didn't really take him long to make an, a, an impact for us. Um, within the first five minutes, he had his ahead. It was great work by Itton to get the ball to into Aribo's path. Uh, his low cross across the face of the goal finds Diallo at the back post to have the easiest of goals on his debuts. Um Really impressive uh, start for him. Um, obviously, the, nothing you can't really start a, a debut much better than that to get a goal as early on as that. We hadn't really seen much of him on the ball up to that point. Uh, but yeah, a, a, a cracking start for him. And I thought that was us on our way. I thought that Rangers would, would settle down, we would continue to kick on from that, taking the, the lead really early. Uh, and we decided to... <sighs> Almost let the game become scrappy. We didn't control the game. I mean, Ross County didn't really control the game for that matter either, but we stamped no authority onto that game at all. Uh, and then it leads to four minutes of defensive errors, which leads to us being 2-0 down. Uh, they're really the only chances that Ross County had in that in that first half. First off, McGregor makes a, has a bit of a massive lapse in concentration as a cross comes in. Uh, he doesn't collect it and he fumbles it right into the path of the Ross County. A striker to, to gift him an equaliser. Not happy with just one gift, we then gift him another. Uh, can do a long ball, first Golton, don't know what he's trying to do, clearing that, whether the wind's caught him out or whatever, not making excuses for him, he has to do better. Barris, it's his header, again, heads it straight to the Ross County player, I don't know what he's doing, you have to get just get rid of it, clear your lines, it's as simple as that, it's basic, basic defensive um, things to do when, when they're in that situation. Ross County player heads it forward. Bassey completely misses the ball. Uh, the Ross County player is in, uh, slips it under Alan McGregor to make it 2 1. And we couldn't really believe what we were watching. I couldn't really believe what we were watching. Ross County had done very little up to that point. And all of a sudden, we were we were 2 1 down. Um, we did actually start to play a bit of football in the, towards the end of the, the first half. Uh, after being 2-1 down, I don't know why it takes us to being 2-1 down to have a bit of a reaction, but we started to up our tempo, which we had none of up until then, and we, we started to play forward passes, which again, was not really happening. Uh, I don't know what why that happens, we kind of took the lead and almost looked... Maybe I'm saying that in hindsight, and then the moment of the moment of heat just now with the reaction after the game, but we just looked like we were, we were content with 1-0 instead of trying to kill the game. So, yeah, the... the the, the, the really we finished the better of the two teams towards the end of the, the, the first half, but Ross County took their two chances that we gifted them. So you you have to be you, you got to give them fair play for that and we go in two one down. On to the second half, um we completely dominated in the whole of the second half uh, and scored an equaliser on the first few minutes of the half. Tav is in the right place at the right time at the back post to blast at home to make the game level. We continue to dominate numerous balls into the box um, from Barisic. Diallo as well was looking really promising, um, running at his defender every time he got the ball. Uh, he was unlucky with a shot that got deflected wide uh, for a corner, but I thought he looked looked really promising. And then finally, uh, we, we take we take the lead again. A shot from Arfield in the box is saved. Uh, 
but the, uh, by the keeper, uh, but it's kind of bounced up and it's straight into the path of Connor Golton, who who heads at home, and it's a bit of a scrappy goal, not really any great quality in it, but our, our perseverance seemed to pay off, and we took the lead again. Uh, to that point, Ross County hadn't been in our half. Uh, they they had there was a stat popped up on Sky Sports that was zero touches in our box, zero shots, and I think we had like twenty odd touches in their box. So it was uh, it was one way traffic in that second half. But again, in my opinion, as soon as we took the lead, we stopped playing again. Um, we we stopped. Well, that's probably a wee bit unfair. There was a few good chances. We looked like again we were stuck between the stick and twisting. I mentioned that on. Wednesday night when we were playing against Livingston, it didn't really look like if we wanted to go and try to kill the game or if we were happy to defend what we had. Uh, there was a few uh, chances that were probably unlucky. No real clear cut, I, I, I don't think. Uh, Diallo, I say he yeah, eventually has to come off. Um, it was a good debut by him, um, by any stretch of the imagination it was. Uh, he went down, it looked like a wee bit with a knock. Hopefully it's nothing serious. It might have been the plan for him to only play 60, 65 minutes. Uh, but he he came off and Sakala came on. Joe Aribo does really well. Um, he looked very promising. Um, I think it was clear that we've, we've missed Joe Aribo today. He, he really did. He gave everything that he, he possibly could. Uh, just his continuous work and not wanting to give up on a, any ball and constantly be able to come away with a ball. It's clear that we, we have missed Joe Aribo. Roof uh, as well, he came close with a shot that strikes a post. He replaced Cedric Itton. Again, Itton, I thought he was decent in the first half. The second half, he, he wasn't really involved very much. Uh, just before he came off, actually, it kind of summed up his day where the, the ball was really close to goal and the keeper managed to smother it just before he could get his foot on it as he was kind of falling to ground. So, again, not. I think Itton just needs a few goals and I think that will kind of maybe take the heat off him a little bit. A lot of people are quick to jump on him, but he did play a massive part in that, that first goal that we scored today. So, decent enough for me, but yeah, still still not scoring uh, the goals that we would like him to, to be scoring. Uh, but the shot from Roof was really unlucky. He showed great composure to get the shot away at the edge of the box. Um, and Arfield was rushing in as the ball came out, but he, Arfield couldn't really shape his body to get to it. So Carlos then denied uh, after a through ball from Kent leading to a break. Um, actually, that leads to a break in play uh, after a collision. The uh, Ross County defender and the Ross County keeper clashed together. The keeper's left with a pretty bloodied up face, uh, but fair play to him for wanting to continue to play on. Um, his face looked pretty messed up, but it led to quite a substantial amount of added on time uh, at the end of the 90, which is significant. So seven minutes of added on time. And since we'd not gifted uh, uh, Ross County even a chance in that second half, we decided to gift them a goal yet again. They have a corner on the 96th minute. Um, we just don't deal with it. The corner comes in and it's just panic stations. Uh, we, we just don't deal with it. The, the shot, kit, the ball's kind of loose in the box. The Ross County player gets to it, but it's no real conviction behind the shot. It doesn't make a very clean contact. And what Alan McGregor's trying to do to save that with his, his body instead of gathering with his hands or getting himself on top of the ball, there was every chance for him to do so. Kamara might be a wee bit close to him. But the ball breaks, Barris has completely left his man, he's standing on his own and he slots it away to make it three each. And yeah, I, of course we're not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst after the match, he said that he's not happy with it. He says it was almost unrecognisable that the mistakes in the way that we've conceded goals defensively like that, it's not something that he's used to seeing. And since Gio's came in, it's not something that we've been used to seeing. Uh, not good enough defensively for us. And yeah, McGregor has had an absolute shocker today. Uh, he's responsible for two of them goals, in my personal opinion. Uh, two of the goals are Alan McGregor's fault. Um, really not like him. I uh, don't know what was wrong with him. Maybe the first mistakes knocked his confidence because he had very little to do in that second half. That was probably the first time that he got kind of called into action. But not dealing with basic corners at that time of the match uh, it's criminal. It is absolutely criminal, given Ross County the, the chance to get a point out of that game. Because, honestly, and I'm not saying this with my blue tinted glasses on, they didn't deserve it. If you look at the stats of that game, and if you watch the game, Rangers completely dominated, especially in the second half. So, I'm very disappointed in the fact that we've dropped points uh, in Dingwall today. Um, really, really uh, not ideal ahead of ahead of the old firm game. But... Um, 
yeah, so that, that'll do. As I say, it's just me, so it's a, a much shorter one today. Uh, let's all hope we get a bit of a reaction on um, on Wednesday night. Uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate comments and stuff in the comments for this for people that are going to tune in. So, fire away. Uh, I'm really not bothered. It doesn't bother me in the slightest that you want to tune into a Rangers podcast. So, carry on for that. But thank you to all you who, who do tune in all the time, uh, who subscribe to the YouTube channel, etc. If you're new here and you like what you've heard from us, it's not usually just me. There is more of us, I promise. Um, so, if you could just like, subscribe and share, that would be very much very much appreciated. We're going to be back on Tuesday night uh, with more reaction to this game. The lads will be back with we'll, more reaction to this game uh, going by the group chat. I don't think many of us are very happy with what we've just watched today and yeah we'll start the build up to a massive game on on Wednesday it's became even more crucial now the fact that we have went and dropped points so yeah not ideal not not the day we, the, the day we wanted try and enjoy the rest of your weekend if you can we'll speak to you on Tuesday so we are club at 22 the Rangers podcast cheers everyone <laughs>